So recently I went to London to break a record, a world record with Sky Arts. Stay tuned till the end, just to find out whether or not we did break that record. So the world record was the most amount of artists in one room painting one sitter. When, and it, because it was Sky Arts, we got to paint a celebrity sitter and that sitter was Lenny Henry. So I'm gonna to talk to you all about my experience there. It was genuinely genius. But before you watch the video, why not subscribe? I'm trying to grow the channel. I wanna get 8 million subscribers by Christmas. I'm a little off at the moment, but you'll really help me out. So we had 60 minutes, just 60 minutes, and that is not enough time to paint anything or anyone and when you're in that situation it's pressure like I, I was I was just all I wanted to do was paint you know the make the make the painting look like the sitter and I kind of think I did um, although I'm genuinely not satisfied with it at all and any long time viewers will know that I'm never satisfied hashtag Hamilton anyway so we were in the building uh, I can't remember the name of the hall Wellesley Hall I think it was and um, they were, we were all queuing up and met some wonderful, really nice, really friendly artists. I'm yet to meet an artist that isn't friendly, to be honest. Uh, if you're an unfriendly artist, don't comment in the comment below. We got set up, I was in the second row. It was, I'll put some photo. It was amazing. There, there was a, it would be really well planned indoors, like where we were. Uh, you kind of it was tiered behind you so everybody had a view there was I think the expectation was at the start that everybody was just to paint from where they were that was gonna be really really challenging because some people right at the back would have just painted a splurgy dot and that would have been it you know and you couldn't argue with the likeness then we, we had this moment when Lenny Henry came out greeted the crowd and everything, sat down, and then people started to descend and go down there and take their photos, the reference material, and it, it needed to be done. I think because of that, it delayed the start. And I, looking at online, there was a little bit of a drama and a little, people weren't happy with the online experience because it wasn't just indoors it, um, in the Wes Wesley Hall. It was because it was Sky Arts, it was um, available around the world. Experience itself, as I touched on earlier, it was, it was really stressful. It was quite, you know, you, 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 there were certain stringent things that you had to meet. So you had to cover 90% of the canvas or 95% of the canvas. Um, you had a lady walking around with a clipboard and looking all official from um, the uh, Guinness Book of Records to kind of ratify it. She then, there was a, when you finished, you, she had to walk around and make sure that nothing, you know, untoward had been done. You weren't allowed to touch the canvas beforehand in terms of paint and stuff like that. They distributed the canvases to you. Uh, the 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 organization of the event, like I said, was really, really well done. When we started painting, that was magic. That was just like, you look around and you could see everybody painting and focused and working. Presenter, I can't remember her name, but she was absolutely wonderful, really funny, really engaging. We had a conversation, like people, she was engaging with people, it was really lovely. Everyone involved on the day, the production staff, just nice, like as you'd expect. I, I, I thought we'd get like, the judgmentals I thought the judges would be there kind of that was that was exciting but there were some past um, participants in Sky Portrait Artist of the Year my friend Jeff was there Jeff Harrison absolutely amazing artist if you uh, if you're into art and you don't follow him on Instagram you should Jeff Harrison he's an amazingly talented artist but like lots and lots of really talented artists and some of them produced some incredible work like I said I wasn't really particularly happy with the painting that I did I didn't practice this is my confession I didn't practice beforehand perhaps I should have done that may have been a little bit but let's be honest I should have practiced beforehand I went up there completely unprepared in terms of my the you know the expectation of 
60 minute painting. So I didn't go up like fully prepared. I have painted before. It's one of mine back there. You know, you know I've painted before, but 60 minute timer is mental. So homework, do that, try that, paint in 60 minutes. It was an absolutely wonderful experience all in all in the organization as I said it was really good on in the building I know that there were problems online and that's simply I think because of the delay in the start because we were all there taking photos really no controversy really no it was just a wonderful experience and I would highly you know I, I would be up for doing it again I hope you enjoyed that video like and subscribe you'd be doing me a big favor if you could subscribe thank you very much have a wonderful day and whatever you do today make some art i nearly forgot you're probably wondering did we do it did we succeed well yeah obviously yes we did we succeeded you probably know that already um it was yeah we got the email and the stuff certificate and things through a few days later so I'm, one, I'm a world record breaking artist.